This is manual muscle testing for elbow extension. So uh, we're testing triceps and anconius. We're gonna position the elbow to move into extension in a gravity resisted plane of motion. Uh, so we need to passively move the joint through the range to determine the physiological range. Now you can move through the range yourself. Great, you've met the criteria for a three. We're going to position the elbow at mid range or the triceps at its resting length. Our force application is gonna be as far away from the joint as possible without crossing distal joints. So it'll be just proximal to the wrist. And then my stabilization concept that we apply to all of our, just about all of our manual muscle tests is we're gonna be just proximal to the joint, which is the elbow and on the opposite side of the muscle we're testing. Triceps is of course a posterior compartment muscle of the arm. So hold it right there, don't let me move you. Hold, hold, hold. So there are several resources that, um, in terms of stabilization, place the stabilization hand proximal to the shoulder. The reason we recommend stabilization proximal to the elbow, hold it right there, so we don't really feel that stabilizing at the shoulder provides much, if any, stability. It can also affect the validity of the test because the patient may break at the shoulder rather than breaking at the elbow. A variation on this test, if you can uh, lay on your belly, so in order to test the same shoulder or the same uh, elbow, we'll come over here, slide to your left a little bit. So we can also measure tricep strength in a prone position. So we can passively move through the range. Now you go through that range, you've met the criteria for a three. My force is gonna be just proximal to the elbow. In this position, the table helps to create a stabilization counter force, but I'll, put, I'll still put my hand there. Hold it right there. Hold, hold, hold. 